Okay, so let's look at our nutrient breakdown and nutrient absorption, and then um, how we will use those nutrients for energy once we've absorbed them. So when we're looking at nutrient absorption, just remember, here is looking at the, um, the tube of the digestive tract, so the intestines. We have the lumen in here. This is where the food would go, the chyme, really. Um, these would be the intestinal epithelial cells all around, and then we have the villi extending out, um, the plicky or the circular folds to help increase surface area along with the villi, and then the little tiny little hairs that would be the brush border um, that are going to help with um, increasing surface area, but also with breaking down carbohydrates. Um, so any nutrients that are in the lumen of the intestinal tract here need to pass into the cells of the intestinal epithelium um, and then go into the capillaries so that you can have it in your blood and other cells in your body can have those nutrients. Um, now fats are too big to fit into the capillaries so they're going to go into the lacteals which are lymphatic vessels which are a little bit bigger. Um, eventually these lacteals will um, you know, after being filtered and run through lymph nodes and all that, this lymph is going to end up being put back into your subclavian vein, so it's going to become part of the blood. So eventually those um, lipids will find their way into the bloodstream. All the other nutrients are going to go straight from the intestinal epithelium right into the capillaries. But first we need to break them down from what you've eaten, which is way too big to fit into a cell, into things that are small enough to fit into a cell. So we start off by, you know, chewing, masticating. That's just physical, mechanical digestion. We're breaking the food down um, into mush, essentially. Um, but we're not really breaking down anything chemically yet at that point. Um, the stomach continues with some mechanical digestion by the mixing and the action of the smooth muscle. Um, but again, we're not really breaking things down with the mechanical digestion, not in a chemical sort of sense. We really need to do chemical digestion to break down those nutrients into their small component pieces so they can be absorbed. So to do chemical um, breakdown, we have amylase, which breaks down carbohydrates. Um, there's some amylase in your saliva. So you begin somewhat the breakdown of carbohydrates in the mouth. Um, but you also have pancreatic amylase, and that's where you're going to really do the bulk of your carbohydrate breakdown. Um, so what amylase is doing is breaking the carbohydrates into disaccharides and trisaccharides. Um, that's still too big to get into the cell. So we skip down here for a second. Brush border enzymes, which are made by these little microvilli that are sticking out all over the place in the lumen of the intestine. Um, these brush border enzymes will break down the di and trisaccharides into monosaccharides. Those are what are small enough to go into the cells. Um, they're going to be absorbed using co-transport with sodium. So to get into the cells, you essentially hook a monosaccharide together with a sodium, and into the cells they go together. Um, then it would just be a matter of um, simple diffusion to get out into the capillary for that monosaccharide. Um, now, proteases. Proteases are found only in pancreatic juice. Um, three of them are called trypsin, chymotrypsin, and elastase. You don't need to um, know which particular amino acids each one of those is responsible for. Just know the names of them as examples of proteases. And what they'll do is they'll break your proteins down into amino acids, dipeptides, and tripeptides. Um, these are the things that can be absorbed into the epithelium, but they'll also need co-transport with sodium, so the same way that a monosaccharide did. Um, and then to get out into the blood, um, then we need to do active transport. Um, because we know that proteins like to stay in cells, and cells don't like to get rid of proteins, we need to kind of active transport them out into the blood. Um, now our lipids are a little bit more complex, just because they're so big. Um, so we have lipases that are in pancreatic juice. They're going to break those lipids into fatty acids and monoglycerides. Um, then we're going to coat those with bile salts. So this is where bile comes in. 
And once we've coated it with bile salts, it's called a micelle. So a micelle is just kind of like a piece of fat that's covered with bile. And, yum. <laughs> um, anyway, so the micelle is going to just do simple diffusion into the cell. And once it's in the cell, so we've got the micelle just kind of moving on into the cell. And once it's inside of the, the intestinal epithelial cell, then it's going to have to go through another conversion. Um, we're going to take some monoglycerides and fatty acids and, and link them back together to make triglycerides. And then we coat that with some proteins. And this is called a chylomicron, which is a form of a lipoprotein, which just means lipid and protein. And this is what we're going to take out of the cell and put into um, the body, but it's way too big. This is a pretty giant molecule here, so it's too big to get into the capillary. So that is going to be exocytosed into the lacteal, and then eventually we'll end up in the blood. Um, now, we also have DNA and RNA that can be broken down with deoxyribonucleases and ribonucleases, and those are um, also in pancreatic juice. So now we've broken down all of those nutrients and they can be absorbed. Um, here is just a breakdown, <laughs> sorry for the stupid plan. Um, it's a breakdown of um, what we just talked about, how we um, absorb all of those nutrients. So with the carbohydrates, our salivary amylase and our pancreatic amylase break um, the carbohydrates into the dye and the trisaccharides. Then we finish the job with the brush, brush border enzymes, which break them into the monosaccharides. The monosaccharides absorb into the cell using co-transport with sodium, and then they're diffused into the capillaries. Um, for lipids, Lipases from pancreatic juice break the lipids into fatty acids and monoglycerides. Bile covers the fatty acids and the monoglycerides to form my cells, which can then diffuse into the cells. Then you put those fatty acids and monoglycerides back together into triglycerides, cover them with a protein coating, which is now called a chylomicron, and then we exocytose the chylomicron into the lacteals. Um, for the proteins, we finish breaking them up with proteases, which are found in pancreatic juice. We're going to break them into amino acids, dipeptides, and tripeptides. Those are co-transported with sodium into the intestinal epithelium, and then we use active transport into the capillaries. Now for vitamins, um, vitamins, some of them are fat soluble. They need to bind to my cells in order to be absorbed. Those are A, D, E, and K. So if you take a multivitamin, or let's say you're like, oh, I need some vitamin A, which is really good for the immune system, by the way. Um, it's very good as an antioxidant, not just good for the eyes. So vitamin A is um, really important. All of these are very important vitamins to have. Um, a and D in particular are good for the immune system. But I'm transgressing again. Um, or digressing again, not transgressing. Um, so these fat-soluble vitamins, um, if you just like say, oh, I'm gonna eat a carrot and get some vitamin A, you won't absorb it unless you also have fat with it. Or if you're taking a multivitamin and you're you know, trying to get these vitamins, you're not gonna absorb them unless you also have some sort of fat with it. So make sure that you have a nice healthy fat along with your fat-soluble vitamins. Um, water-soluble vitamins just can be absorbed using simple diffusion, and those would be the B vitamins and vitamin C, with the exception of vitamin B12. And if you remember, we had intrinsic factor coming from the parietal cells in our gastric glands. Um, B12 needs that intrinsic factor in order to be um, absorbed. Okay, so let's take a break on this video, and we'll come back, finish up one last short video about energy production, and then the liver also.